everybody, what is going on? It's Brian with you from the Game Common, and we are playing some more Civilization VI, continuing with our Mexico Let's Play. All right, so the war is over if you want it. Yeah, anyways, um, so the war is over. We are going to try getting our trade routes up to 15 in this episode. Um, we did finish our civics. So let's see, military academy, seaports, that doesn't matter. It's been, what, two days since I played? Receive 50 gold per appeal when replacing a farm with the neighborhood. Which, uh, we didn't replace a farm, so never mind. Yeah, so those are all kind of worthless for us. So we're going to ignore that for the time being. Going for natural history, yeah, because we're trying to rush up to the third tier of government types. So sure, that's fine. Um, and then electricity is going to give us power plants, seaports, and subs. All which are pretty spot on for us. Um, my keyboard got moved. My wife must have moved it last night when she was playing video games because <laughs> I was like I have no room for my mouse right now how my mouse only goes this way this is a problem but we're, we're good now okay we have our rifleman who was just chilling out here he was kind of protecting this area for us so I think I'm actually gonna move him over here just cuz in case we get attacked again he's gonna be in position to attack and um, we also have roads leading out of it um, so he can move quickly. As for you, I think we're gonna put you back on alert because I don't really need to move you guys anymore. And we're gonna go next turn and see what we can find. So we still, okay. Good note, good note, good note. We still need enough money to get. Oh, I bought him already. Okay, never mind. <laughs> we need to get him up here and get our other oil. Is this a barbarian encampment? Freaking heck, man. I am just never gonna get this town, apparently. We may just have to put him right here just to make sure we actually get it. There are enough friendly units up there that hopefully they take them out, but still. So Spain got electricity, congratulations. Oh wait, I don't got electricity yet. Taking electricity when I don't even have it yet. We're like, we're the smartest people in the world and yet um, we're like the slowest to get some of these techs, like electricity. So yeah. Oh my gosh, they're spawning more freaking barbarians. Come on. Oh, freaking heck. At least they're not spawning ships, so that's all that really matters. We're going to take you this way. Yeah, that's probably okay for now. Um, We are in the modern era or whatever, so our town centers by default can attack even without walls. So good to know. Uh, you, trader out, let's send you to Rome. We don't have one to roam from here yet, so there you go. Then Leon needs to build something else. I think we can just keep popping out trade routes, man. We're building them over in Okox, Oax, O, Oax, Oaxaca, Oaxaca. Anyways, we're building them there, and they go every two turns. Actually, no, we're not building them there. Where the heck are we building them? Metal zone? Did we stop building? Do we start building a neighborhood instead of traders here? We did. Oh, all right. Okay, well, I still need more traders, people. Uh, six turns. Uh, ooh, aerodrome. Cool. District allows you to build and store aircraft. Cannot be built on hills. Plus one production. Uh, let's keep popping out traders. These aren't particularly strong towns for us. Um, go back and repeat. Keep going that way. Who needs housing? Guadalajara. We can't send you to Rome now, so instead let's send you to... Do we already have a trader up from here to Rome? Oxica. Uh, reports. Oxica. Meridia. Mexico City. Veracruz. Oxica. Uh, trade with Rome. Yes. So what about Monterey, by chance? Because we did lose pretty much all of our trade routes over there um, in our home city. Our home... Uh, continent, Mexico City, Veracruz, Veracruz does not have a trade route with Rome. Veracruz is over to the east. I don't know if we can actually get to Rome from there. It's a good point. Uh, you are trading with Rome. You are not trading with Rome. So Monterey is an option. The question is, can we go from Veracruz to Rome? Kind of want to say no. If we go all the way to Matlazan and then go across the ocean, I just don't know what the total distance is. Like, 
We're going 45. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let's look at it this way. Um, Agra is 39 from where we're at. Where is Agra? Well, okay. Let's look at it this way. Ostia is 34. So that means Rome is going to be what? 33, 32, 31, 30, give or take. And we can go up to 45. So... Oh, yeah, but that's from here, so we're coming from all the way over here. Well, Mazlaton, do you have a trade route to Rome? I think you probably do. I'm trying to figure out exactly if it, like, if it says 40, is that the exact tiles? I'm assuming that's how many turns it takes to go back and forth. You actually can't go, or I mean, we don't have one from you. So, let's send you over here, and I really want to try it from Veracruz. I think that would be so powerful if we could let's go to veracruz let's actually try it um yeah you didn't go where i wanted go to veracruz let's try it let's freaking try it if not maybe we just do an internal trader out for the time being uh you are upgraded now so let's go put you over here and you can defend that we got all our freaking battleships up and ready to go so your empire poses no real threat to ours is that because i'm weak or because we've been friends the entire game. Paranoid. Paranoid. Like civilizations who pose no threat. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> uh, man, everyone keeps throwing shade on me in this game. Come on. Like, I'm not weak. I just beat down Aztecs. Come on. So he wants coal. Eh. And then a bunch of my crap. For Frankenstein. I mean, it's a good book, but... Come on, it's no drinking under the moonlight. Do we have that book? Did we pick up that book? This is important, guys. Do we have Metamorphosis, The Blazing World? We don't have drinking under the moonlight sun. America, where are you at? America, get over here. Hi, you still have it. Make a deal. I, I can't make a deal because it's not my turn. Wait, there it was. No, What what's happening? Yeah. We're good. All right, let's not touch anything. Can it be my turn? Yes, all right, America, let's do this. Whoa, make deal. You do not have it anymore. Crap. All right, who has getting drunk by the moonlight? It's not the name of it. Oh, he has new paintings. Ooh, okay. We probably actually should go ahead and buy these. Three sisters playing chess. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, that's just kind of funny. Three sisters playing chess. All right. I mean, that's a very descriptive painting. That's what I like to name all my videos. Brian is playing Civilization VI. I, actually, that's probably what I use as a name. All right, I'm done casting shade at them. Maybe this is why I don't cast shade on other people. I'm bad at it. Make a deal. Who has my freaking... You have Raven. I do want the Raven at some point. Research agreements. Ooh, combined arms. 20 turns. What do you want for it? One gold and seven? Sure, yeah. Totally. Let's go. That's not the one I'm currently researching, right? Drinking alone by moonlight. There we go. All right. You have it. What do you want for it? 18 gold per for 30 turns. Noted. I think... We have a thousand gold. I think we want paintings first. Because these are landscape paintings. Those are portrait paintings. Yeah. So I need to move some of my portrait paintings around. In fact, oh, actually, we do have an art museum over here. Okay. So we could potentially. No, we have religious. Portrait. Portrait. And this is Rembrandt. That's also Rembrandt. We might not have three portraits. Yeah, these are religious. Crap. That was awkward sounding crap. Uh, who is it, Russia? I like, I like my little armrest. I can totally just like hit my fingers on it. It's probably really annoying, so I'll try not doing it, but it's actually fun. Uh, portrait paintings, portrait paintings. Well, that's awkward. I need a landscape painting. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe we're just gonna go for the literature at this point. I mean, obviously, I can just have the paintings for the paintings. Like, uh, they still give me production. 
two per. So, what do you have? Nothing. Well, this is kind of awkward. All right, well, what town was it that had the art museum? I think it was Leon that we didn't have anything in. Or does Leon have the one that we actually have something in? Research agreement? Nothing. Uh, it wouldn't be an episode of Civilization VI without Brian clicking through all freaking 40 people and seeing what they have. Can I just like have like one little button up here that says, show me what everyone has to trade with me? Something like that would be so great. You are you have the Ark of the Covenant now. Interesting. Uh, the success is... Wait, success is counted sweetest. Emily Dickens. Huh. I know Emily Dickens. I actually don't know that book. I'm not... I, I was never one, like, super into literature. Um, yeah, like... I really don't read that many books. I'll occasionally read some of the Star Wars books because that's about all I read anymore. Um, I read the internet, so I'm a fast reader, if that counts. Anywho, we wanted to come up here and see Leon. Do we really need more production in Leon? That's gonna give me six more production. All we're currently doing is producing traders, which is good, but I mean, Leon isn't important to the overarching theme. So I think getting more writing would actually be better for us, only because that's gonna increase our culture, which is gonna get me slightly uh, faster to the next tier of government. So with that in mind, let's finally go and get the deal and do some drinking alone at midnight. So I will pay you 500. Really, dude? This is 500 gold. This is 500 gold. I, I mean, I don't know the exchange rate between gold and dollars right now, but it seems really expensive what you're trying to charge me. I'm actually intrigued now. Uh, What is the exchange rate? for gold to dollars. So currently, $2, That I can't even calculate that. That's 0 .005. So $10 is, here, let's actually get to numbers that I can actually calculate. So 91 cents gets you 0 .001 milliliters of gold. <laughs> Okay, that's a little ridiculous. Uh, one milliliter? Is that, are those milliliters? Oh, those are ounces. Okay, 0 0.001 ounces of gold gets you 91 cents. So 10 ounces of gold is worth $18,000. That seems a little ridiculous. And if that's true, you're getting a freaking good deal out of this. Just throwing that out there. All right, that was everyone's knowledge for the day. So what'd you learn today? Gold is really expensive. Yay. Okay. Um, this, this is my capital, right? Yeah, Mexico City. Okay, so we just built another uh, battleship. You sunk my battleship. And now you're going to do some... I don't think we need any more workers at this point. I could do observation balloons. Just because then we can get some air units. Can I put an aerodrome anywhere here? No, not without eliminating something. May get rid of the stone. Nah, but this, yeah, you know, let's just do research lab and be done with it. Okay, this is my canal city. Um, we already have a harbor. We already have a commercial district. Do we need housing? We do, so let's grab the sewer then. Uh, Pericles has declared war in Saladin. Cool. Uh, this is one of our battleships. We're gonna move you probably out here and help cover more of this canal. It's not a canal. Kind of is a canal. I mean, it it would almost be a canal if you'd have a city blocking this way or something like that. I don't know. I was using canal as more of a general term. Uh, we might as well upgrade you, Rallis. And then this is our other battleship. And you know what? Let's keep you on this side. And we'll put you on alert. And then you are my builder, and we need to repair that which gives us really good science and you still have what two builds left we could build a couple farms i think i want neighborhoods here though honestly 
I should probably build a mine right there. It's about the only thing I see us really needing to do right now. Okay, here's the moment of truth. We cannot get to Rome. That sucks. Can we go anywhere else? We can get nine gold from China. Can't even get good science, man. One production, six. Hmm. If I could get two science, I would trade that. Two production, one science. I'll trade that. Veracruz could use some production. I will take that. Nine gold. That's okay. And that should make China like me just a little bit more. Okay, Veracruz, where are you at? I just want to look at you real quick. Seven turns, you're producing that. <sighs> Builders here aren't going to really help me much. Because these are all jungle tiles. Same thing here. It's a bunch of jungle tiles. We will need some up here with the... Uh... Uh, crabs I love this keyboard like oh my gosh it feels so good <laughs> like it's just so much fun to hit keys which is kind of hilarious okay um this is awkward he can't get in the water and take me right I don't think so right you can't just like go into the water and take a unit if you're a melee unit, right? We should save some money so we can immediately buy a unit to protect our city. I'm hoping all these archers shoot him dead and then the barbarian, the North Korea warrior kills it. Wait, are North is North Korea rolling around with warriors right now? Please tell me North Korea is rolling around with warriors right now. That would just be too great. That would just make my day. There's no glory keeping your feet on the ground. You should really try building I just unlocked the tag. And of all people, Rome? Rome is telling me I need to build an air force. Who came up with that one? I mean, it's ironic, but really? <laughs> okay, sure. Hey, can you come uh, run away? Mr. Barbarian Musketman. Also, why are there still barbarians in the world at this point in life? Now, we should be able to go there and immediately settle. Because it should only take one. If not, we're going to have to reload, and that's going to be sucky. We're at 17 minutes, so... Yeah. Might be awkward. We'll see what the barbarians do. Well, this all got super awkward. Can we immediately get here and still have trader outs of uh, movement? I think so. No. Crap. So we quick saved on turn 310. Auto save is 311. Okay, so we're going to reload this auto save. <sighs> the unfortunate part is this is actually going to take more time than I would like. Um the load screen now in the game is actually pretty ridiculously long, probably because I have all of the civilizations unlocked. So the question is, do I need to put a pause in this and then edit it? B, we could just call this episode at 18 minutes and just make it a little shorter. Or C, I can just sit here and entertain you guys for upwards of five minutes without anything going on. Can I entertain people for five minutes without anything to go on? Well, I mean, I can look around my room. All right, well, we can pull up Twitter on our phone and see if there's anything fun that's happening. Um, yeah, no, that's not fun. <laughs> uh, crap. Yeah, it's all... Okay, I'm gonna throw this out here. I'm a Michigan fan. Uh, I've always... My dad went to school up in Michigan, so I've always been, like, a Michigan Wolverine fan. So the bowl game was yesterday, and so previous episodes where I talked about watching my phone, that's what I was doing. I was watching the Michigan football game. And if you know anything about the bowl games, you know that didn't go too well for us. So uh, I'm a little depressed about that. So immediately I look at my phone, and I probably should have guessed that because about 90% of the people I follow are Michigan bloggers that get sent to my phone, at least. Also a couple YouTubers as well. Um... But yeah, yeah, so that wasn't a fun game. So the reason I was recording during the football game is because just it's not fun to watch uh, sports when your team's getting your butt kicked. I'm also a Cleveland Brown fan, so I should be used to this whole losing thing. But yeah, I'm a depressing person when it comes to sports. 
Um, hey, I entertained you guys. Yes. I don't know. I'll have to actually look at the metrics. Um, 40 people turned off, or 40% of the people turned off the video during this uh, section. Be like, oh crap. Uh, okay, so I guess we're gonna have to come back here and hide for a bit. That's annoying. Where'd my guy go? Wait a second. Yo, unclick for a sec. I had a musket man somewhere in this area because I was sending him up. Oh, this is where my other guy came from. How long would it take you to get up here? 10 turns. I mean, they have like three archers here and they're about to kill this guy or crossbowmen, four, three crossbowmen in a night. So surely they can take out these guys. Surely. I don't need to bring my units up there. I could bring a battleship or something up there and that would make things a little bit quicker. Um, I could buy a battleship and send them up there. Okay, so Monterey, we probably want Your housing is maxed. Armory doesn't actually give you housing. Uh, now that does a researcher lab. Let's go ahead and grab a research lab. That's gonna speed that up, but not by a lot. 195 production, 580. God, research labs are expensive. We'll build a research lab. I think we're gonna start building more research labs. Our money is okay right now, so let's keep going research labs. Just let's get as much science as possible. And yeah, let's do another research lab. So, oh, we just finished a whole freaking lot of units. Good to know. Uh, you're gonna skip your turn. So, you are going to come fortify here. You are going to... Probably get upgraded, but uh, we built an artillery here. So, let's put the artillery over here. And let's actually upgrade you. Might as well. We have the money right now. Uh, we have more battleships. Bring it on, freaking Aztecs. I dare you freaking declare war on me again. Let's go. <laughs> I'm ready this time. But seriously, don't, because I actually like my 15% bonus or whatever I'm getting for not being at war. So, yeah. Yeah. It's kind of a, um, a bluff, but I would appreciate it if you don't actually declare war. Do battleships upgrade? I think there is one more upgrade for battleships, correct? Battleships are... Eh, go away. So, destroyer is the upgrade from the frigates. Battleships upgrade to missile cruiser, I think. Yeah, ranged naval unit. Which is kind of funny. I mean, it's not as if battleships nowadays have been replaced by missile cruisers. They're still kind of both around. Although, in some ways, yeah, I can kind of see that. So you want telecommunications, but you want me to give you a bunch of stuff. I'll give you one gold for 30 turns for telecommunications. Yeah, that's fine. Give me all the boosts. That's the one advantage of being friends with everyone. We're getting all these science boosts. It's great. Okay, we negotiated a peace with Gilgamesh. Uh, Victoria did a what? Alliance? Alliance. Nah, I don't think so. You're so small and tiny. I don't think I care. Victoria declared war on Toronto. So, wait, who's England fighting? England, where'd you go? Hi, who are you at war with? No one. Who'd you declare war on? If it weren't for electricity, we'd all be watching television by candlelight. <laughs> that, ah, gotcha, that's the joke. Um, So we can now build uh, subs. Good to know. Hey, where did England go? And who'd you declare war on? It was a city-state. Which one? Oh, we also have new. Recruit great musician. Yeah, that's never gonna happen. Great merchant. Ugh. Great rider. Ugh. Why can't I hover over these? Build tolerantism. Great general. Ugh. Trigger inspiration for mass media. Construct an industrial zone. Somehow I have not managed to do that. And recruit a great merchant. Okay. Probably not interested in any of those. Oh, we're currently boosting combined arms right now. Crap. Well, that's awkward. That's pretty awkward because all I have to do is build an airstrip and I can get that. But we're not currently building an airstrip, so sure. I should actually be building an airstrip. Can I build an airstrip? No. Let's grab a, a shipyard here for more production. Only two, but... Did you kill him? You didn't kill him. 
So we need to wait one more turn. Probably more than one turn. Uh, we're going to go for the 63% chance of stealing combined arms. We could also try stealing Pride and Prejudice. Only 50%. This will instantly finish combined arms. Sure, why not? We're running out of text to handle anyways. Uh, we don't have money. I was going to buy another one. Need more housing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, that diplomat thing, I think, was something something I should have paid attention to. Okay, whatever. Alert. Alert. You are gone. Build me a mine. Plus three production, man. Nice. I think San Luis could use some production. Oh, we need lumber mills here, Brian. Let's do that. Come on. Uh, Kim Jong-un warned Peter about interfering with city-state ally. Okay. Does anyone have uranium? Did we just research uranium? No, that's combined arms. So we need to find out aluminum, where there is aluminum. And then we also need to find out, wait, what? Radio, one turn. Oh, that's, sorry, that's research tech one. I thought it said one turn left and I was like, wait a second, this is five turns. I'm confused. So we want to see where the aluminum and the uranium are located. You want coal and niter for jade? <laughs> I like that. That was like, no. Um, yeah, you've been mean to me the entire game. You have said so much crap about me. Why would I help you? No, no, and no. Peter built Sydney Opera House. You want a bunch of stuff. And you want to be an ally? <laughs> she was like, what? Why wouldn't you want to be my ally? Maybe because you declare war against everyone in the game? Also, we don't have defensive packs still yet, do we? Yeah, you can have an embassy. That's fine. Go ahead. Where are my defensive packs? Uh, someone's attacking something. Where are defensive packs? Colonial War. Oh, there it is. Mobilization. Nope. War Territorialization. I know we've seen where it is. Where the heck are defensive packs? Uh. I mean, we don't have it unlocked yet, so whatever. I don't actually care right now. Um. Okay, let's see what we can build. So, we finally finished our campus down here. That is excellent. Uh, I think I'm going to immediately buy our library. And I think I'm going to immediately buy... Oh, I can't buy a university. Dang. Might buy a monument down here. But, okay. So, we want to build the Great Zimbabwe down here. The only way for us to build the Great Zimbabwe here is we need... Your trade routes get plus two gold from every bonus resource. Must be built adjacent to commercial hub with a market adjacent to cattle. So what we need to do is build a commercial hub. And I think we're gonna build it right here so we can build the Great Zimbabwe there. And we want the commercial hub here so it's adjacent to the city center. So we're gonna replace you with the commercial hub. Okay, you're gonna take 39 turns. So we probably wanna go ahead and purchase a monument. And let's actually grab something. Actually, Mazelazan, I don't really care. Let's move you down here. Just to speed its production up a little bit, because it's still pretty trash. I honestly, we're at size 7. We need to start upgrading some of this city. So we need to purchase a builder down here. Get some lumber mills going, stuff like that. Okay. Uh, over here. Oh, there's defensive pack. I was hovering over it like an idiot, and I couldn't see. So I have three core. God, 22 turns, man. We could also get up to Theocracy. Wait, actually, Theocracy's behind us. We could also get Grand Opera. See, I don't care about any of that. I don't care about any of that. Yeah, we probably just want to go ahead and grab that one. Just be done with it. Even though it's going to take forever. Okay, we want you to go on alert. We want you to come build, start building some lumber mills for me. Please. He's still alive, unfortunately. 
So we're going to space out. Meridia needs more housing. All right, we're going to wrap this episode up here. Hope you guys are enjoying it. If you are, drop a like, comment, let me know what you think. And as always, hit the subscribe button. Join the game, come in, show your support, and I will see you guys next episode. Bye.